this is Lappy, and welcome back to my let's play on The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Today I am look- oh is that a shrine? There's a shrine right there! Just sitting there this whole time. I've been like hunting for ages for all of these shrines. And there's one just sitting right there. It's down in the open. I'm gonna do that today. So the main thing I want to do today though is I'm hunting for mem- what's this down here as well? Oh, it's just some water. Okay, yeah, I'm going for memories. Not my memories, I'm going for, uh, for Link's memories, uh, I guess. And oh no! Oh dear! Oh dear! Oh dear! Oh dear! Oh dear! Oh dear! Not a good time! Not a good time to start! And whoa! Okay, um, didn't realize that there were a bunch of guardians down underneath us. I don't think they're moving guardians. I think they're the ones that kind of stay in place, but they can still be <laughs> pretty deadly. So let me let me show you what we're after today. Um, oh no, sorry, these are just my these are just my personal snaps. We are after. Oh, where are the where are the memories? Where are the memories gone? Um, oh, I think I just scrolled across. Okay, yeah, here we go. Here are the memories. So I'm after this one. This one, this one looks like it should be an easy one. There's a bunch of these that I have no idea. That one seems doable. Like any time you can see like the castle in the background, it's like Disney World. If you can see the castle, you know where you are. <laughs> so I think this one might be doable. It's an open field with a big tree, and then you can see the castle in the background and kind of a bunch of rocks and a moat to the side. Of course, the world is looking a bit more destroyed since then. So basically, it's quite close to the castle. So I was going to circle around the, the outside and uh, try and find where the tree was. So that tree there, I spotted from the, the top of the, the tower, which I didn't mean to, to jump off a second ago. So that seems like a pretty likely one. The only thing is, is I, I don't think that mountain range was in the, the background. So maybe it's not going to, to be that tree. But the fact that it's... Oh, there's a guardian right there. Should I go for it? Let's have a cheeky save. And then let's go and see if we can uh, if we can deal with that guardian with the whole shield knockback. So yeah, let me just get the move. Oh, it's a moving one. It's a moving one. Right. Uh, let's uh, let's get ready. Get ready to to lock on. Get its uh, attention. I could use one of the arrows, but I think I'd rather save them and go and try and go for a, a reaction. Right. As always, I've got to be quiet to to get the timing right. Oh. Okay, I, I didn't do it because they had to, to use the uh, the defense thing, but still, I'm alive. Oh no, I, that's why I shouldn't be talking. Right, okay, sorry, I need to focus again. Oh, I did it! Yay, there we go. So I got saved by my magic uh, Gerudo power for a, a couple times. Uh, not Gerudo, Gorok um, power. Uh, but then I was able to get it on the last one. I just can't because you need to get the timing. You need to listen to get the timing right. And I just can't talk and listen at the same time. It's just not possible. But yeah, look, there's that shrine. Just sitting there out in the open like nobody's business. I mean, it is quite close to the um, uh, to the castle. So I can't understand why maybe I wouldn't have wanted to get too close. And uh, yeah, since we've been circled by a few centuries. Right then, is this? This doesn't look like it, does it? I don't think this is the one. I don't. I don't think this is the the right tree. Cause yeah, let's bring back the uh, bring back up that picture. Yeah, there's no mountains in the background. See, there's not much. It's just like flat ground in the background. To the far left, there's a bit of a, of a pointy rock, but there aren't many. Just single trees by themselves. I wonder if like it's that landscape in the background. Let's let's continue circling around the the outside, uh, and then let's go and um. See if we can find many other solitary trees, uh, and then there's going to be a good chance it's going to be them. But of course, we do not need to, to go around uh, on foot anymore. We have ourselves a motorbike that we could use to, to go around. Also, it might be handy for me just finding out uh, any more uh, other shrines. Like, this is one of the, the areas that I've spent the, the least amount uh, of time on. So basically, uh, between this episode and the, the last episode, I did a, a whole bunch of shrine hunting. Uh, as you may have noticed, I've upgraded my stamina quite a bit. Oh, uh, this looks like the moat. Hmm, oh, there's a tree there. Could be that tree. Unless it's one of the ones behind there. Let's go and head to, to that tree over there and let's see what we can see. This isn't the uh, the best material to, to ride this thing on. But yeah, um, I've upgraded my stamina a bit. Uh, once I've filled, filled in my next full circle of stamina, I will then focus on uh, putting the, the hearts up. And oh, did not notice there were some enemies on this. Oh no, there were spikes. There were spike traps. I don't know, they're going to shoot arrows at me. Let's just hide behind these spikes. And that didn't work very well. Uh, let's go. Let's just drop. Let's just drop and go down this way. And oh, there's, there's more underneath me as well. I've been absolutely surrounded. Let's just skip through all of this and try and get to, to some sort of relative safety if we can. But yeah, I've graded a, a bunch of, uh, of that stuff. Uh, I've done a bunch of cooking and stuff just to, to get prepared for today. I'm going to do the, uh, I think it's called like the Trial of the Sword. It was part 
lot of the DLC, and basically it's a bunch of like kind of challenge rooms where you need to battle a bunch of enemies. And if I complete it, it's going to upgrade the, the power of my Master Sword, uh, which is something that I really, really want to, to do before going to, to Battle Ganon, which will be coming up soon, by the way. I know I've been so, so slow, but that is going to be coming up. But I wanted to do that first. I didn't want to record it all uh, because I think it's going to be fun. I think it's going to get quite repetitive because it's kind of just lots of like, you know, just one-off battle rooms and there's not much story or anything. And I think that at first, it might be a little bit fun at all. Oh, since there's a shrine nearby. Uh, but yeah, then eventually it might end up getting a little bit boring for you. So I've decided to, to kind of do that uh, by myself uh, beforehand. And then once I've got the, the upgrade, then uh, we will go and, uh, and try and battle Ganon. So uh, yeah, any shrines that I can uh, I can find at the, the moment uh, are going to be very, very handy for, for me just uh, in general. So... Is this the tree? I mean, obviously, it's it's got a bunch of stuff built around it, which is going to make it a little bit harder to recognize. I did not mean to pick up that barrel, but hey, that's okay. Uh, apparently, there's a shrine nearby as well. So, I mean, if nothing else, we have just immediately found two brand new shrines, uh, which is like half my way to, to getting a new upgrade, which is uh, definitely better than uh, than nothing. So, right, oh, just go away. Just leave, me, just leave me alone, guys. Leave me alone. Right, let's go uh, Let's go back here then. And let's get the, the cast in the barrel. See, no, look, you can see Death Mountain. You can de you definitely couldn't see Death Mountain uh, from behind where the the tree was. So let's look at the the maps. Where am I around here? I mean, I need to be able to not see the mountain. So I reckon maybe this is in the background. So I reckon keep making our way around here and then just continue looking for like any other just individual solitary trees that are by themselves. Maybe I could go to the top of that tower. There's a tower which is ahead of me there. Let's go and uh, teleport to, to this tower and then I can kind of look over the, the land again and basically go tree spotting. Oh, okay. I accidentally teleported to a, a shrine rather than the, the tower, but hopefully I'll still be able to to have myself a, a good look over the, the land and uh, <laughs> see if I can see if I can find a tree, which is basically what I'm looking for. It's quite it's quite noble because it is just a single tree by itself. Ah, there's a tree there. Where where am I now then? So I'm here. That seems like a possible candidate. Like, there's quite flat land. I think it, may, it might be, like, that landscape in the, the background. Let's go down and have a look at that tree down there, because it's really, like, the, the only tree of that type, kind of anywhere around uh, in the, the area. So uh, let's go and have a, a little check around that tree uh, and see whether that is the, the right one, or at least uh, kind of have a look at what's in the, the background uh, in that area and uh, see whether that's going to be uh, exactly what I need. It's been nice having this extra stamina. I know I have, like, the, the motorbike, but I don't know. It just takes a while to, like, bring it out. And then, like, was it, like, the, the Master Cycle Zero, or whatever its fancy name was? But, yeah, it just takes a while to make it, like, spawn and stuff that normally I end up just running, like, now anyway. Especially as my stamina just lasts for for so long. And he's he's pretty speedy, Link. He's, he's, got a, he's got a spring in his step. He can get around pretty fast. Right then, is this the tree? Ooh! I'm not sure. It's so hard to tell because there's all of this extra stuff that's been built, like, around all over the, the place. Like, it's hard to, to tell by the background because of all of the, the corruption. Like, when the picture was taken, it looked uh, it looked much nicer in this area. Right, let's go Let's go bring up the, the old picture again. And let's go and, uh, and have a, have a look-ski. So, from the view, it's a bit behind the tree and the tree's on the, the right. And then you see the castle, which means... Ah! Oh, it's right here! <laughs> there I was like, where? Where is it? I need to track it down. And it's literally right here. So there we go. This is what the view looks like to today. And then this is what it looked like. Not, like. not that one. 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 That one. That's what it used to look like. <laughs> nice to see that the, the trees after a hundred years are still doing strong, even though the little tiny tree. Right then, let's go and uh, rewind time to a hundred years ago, and uh, let's see uh, another one of Link's memories. <laughs> one. Oh, and another. The flowers we have in Hyrule aren't just beautiful. They're also quite useful as ingredients for a variety of things. <gasps> this one here is called the Silent Princess. It's a rare, endangered species. Despite our efforts, we can't get them to grow domestically yet. The princess can only thrive out here. In the wild. All that we can hope is that the species will be strong enough to prosper on its own. Oh, is that what I think it is? Look at this. I don't believe it. 
but I actually caught one. This delicacy is known to have very, very potent effects under the proper circumstances. Ta-da! Research from the castle shows ingesting one of these can actually augment certain abilities. We wouldn't be in a controlled environment out here, but with your level of physical fitness, you'd be a perfect candidate for the study. Go on. Yeah. Taste it. Yeah. <laughs> She's like, yes, I caught a frog. Eat it. Eat the frog. Is he just expecting, like, just go up and just eat it live? I mean... I guess I kind of what he does do. And silent, silent princesses aren't rare. I've got loads of them. I've got a whole bunch of silent princesses in my back pocket. Let me go and look in my inventory and see how many silent princesses I have. Uh, I got 42. 42. And you saying they're rare? I've not been hunting for them. That's just leftover silent princesses I've collected during my journeys. <laughs> oh, no, that was good fun though. Right then. Um, that's the memory done. We've got that done quicker than I expected. Let's go and uh, let's go and try and do this. Um, do this shrine. So it was there. That's where I started the episode from. I don't really want to start from there. I kind of want to start from here. This is must have been the other tower that I saw. Just because there were too many guardians. And I got scared because there's so many of the, the guardians. I do need to keep... Oh, I think there was a, a Korok seed on top of that tree, by the way. I think I saw a rock on the tree. And if there's a rock on the tree, that means there's probably a Korok seed there. But ah, it's alright. I got a bunch of inventory space now. It's okay. But uh, yeah, I do want to keep on trying to, to upgrade the... Uh, is it my Hylian cape or Hylian tunic or whatever it is? Uh, basically, my main armor. If I keep upgrading that, that's basically uh, pretty going to be the the strongest in terms of defense that I'm going to get inside of the, the game but I do need to to get a bunch more of the the dragon's horns and uh, if you saw the last episode that's um sometimes easier said than done <laughs> so yeah let's not stress ourselves about that too much All right then where's the shrine it's down here somewhere is it still is there still much oh the, the blue one down oh okay I think it's like right down that way I guess uh, let's just go and uh, do a, a big uh, gale up to the the sky and uh, see if we can sail our way right to the doorstep. But oh no, look, there's that bridge again. We're going to go right past that bridge full of all of those googlies. <laughs> right, so I think there might be another shrine. Unless this is telling me about the shrine I'm headed to. It might be actually. I was just flying over and I was like, oh, it's digging a lot here. Is there another shrine? Oh no, I think there's another shrine underneath me down here somewhere. Let's, let's take a quick detour. I'm sorry, this has been a very all over the place video, but... If I can find a shrine, then I'm going to find the shrine. Let's go and have a little a little quick check down here. Because I've definitely not been in this area. I don't even recognize this area. So let's uh, let's settle down on the, the ground here. Ah! There's a shrine right here! Another birth card. I'm just finding shrines for days. I'm not one of these guys. Not one of the Yiga clan. And Okay, we took them out pretty easy. And we get some mighty bananas. <laughs> Those mighty bananas are awesome. It's always good to, to collect them. So there we go. We can do this shrine. And we still have the, the other shrine to, to look forward to as well. And there might have been another one that we discovered on our way uh, as well. But that might have been talking about this one. I'm not entirely sure. But right then. The Zelta Wa Shrine. Okay, it looks like it's a puzzle one. To you who sets foot in the shrine, I am Zelta Y. In the name of the goddess Hylia, I offer this trial. Uh, right, two orbs to guide you. All right, I'm glad it's one of the, the puzzly ones, because they're always my favorite ones. Let's, uh, let's begin our experimentation. Let's start poking and prodding everything to work out what we need to do. So, this launches up here. Does the orb need to be launched up there, do you reckon? I guess I can launch myself up to here. Don't know if I can get to that room ahead of me there, though. Let's try that again. If I do that and then glide, not quite. Okay, but I feel like I, there's something that I need to, to do with that. There's the orb. That looks like that's where I need to get it to. So I just need to basically knock that orb off. I'm assuming just, like, shooting it with a arrow. Oh, no. Okay, that knocked it down. Okay, what's that going to do? What's going to happen when it goes and lands in the circle? That's done something. Okay, let's open a door, a door there. And that's given me a, another orb. I'm assuming there would have been a way for me to have done that without having the, the arrow. In case I didn't have an arrow on me. Or maybe this is assume everyone's got at least one arrow. Surely they got one arrow. Right, what happens if I just launch this orb into the sky? For no reason other than simple experimentation. So how high does it go? Okay. Basically the, the same height that I went. This pushes down here. Ah! So I could now... I can stand on that platform and throw that orb in. And then that's going to set it down inside of that hole there. Which will maybe give me another orb, possibly. Let's just see what happens. I can go and throw that inside of there like that. That's going to drop in. And then what's that going to do? Ah! Right then. Okay, so now... Oh, it's going back and forth. So do I need to time it 
to launch me up there. If I'm really fast, I can go like this. Ah, oh, beautiful. Beautifully done. I don't know if I'm supposed to, to have needed an... Oh, whoa! <laughs> I know that looked really silly, but with the floor moving, it just like knocked me right off the, the edge there. That was ridiculous. Right, let's uh, let's try and time this when it's going back to, towards me again, and let's be a little bit more careful. Because, oh no, I missed it. Ooh, just about. Didn't even need to use my glider. Right, let's be careful here, because it's kind of tricky to, to get onto the, the platform. Right, back on steady ground. Oh no, that's it. That's it for the, the puzzle. So, we weren't able to find a bonus chest anywhere. I mean, you'd assume from the top up here, I should be able to, to glide to almost anywhere. Am I being blind right now? Or is it, was it, on, was it all going to be on top of here, do you reckon? Let's go and have a look on top of this, because if there was... Oh, no, okay, this just leads back up to here. Where's the bonus chest? Oh, behind this ramp? Is there going to be one behind the ramp? Where's the bonus chest? I mean, it doesn't matter. Like, very rarely do I get something from the bonus chest, which is better than, like, what I have already. So, seeing as I can't find it, I guess I'm just going to leave it and not worry about it. Only joking! I saw it! I saw it! You don't need to comment! You don't need to comment! Sometimes it's fun to pretend that I didn't spot something, because then everyone... Like, I only just spotted it then, let's be clear, but sometimes it's fun to pretend, because everyone comments saying, You missed it! It was right there! And it just annoys everyone. I basically just like annoying everyone. I'm sorry about that. That's a, that's a flaw in my personality. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah! Right then, there we go. We're able to, to tick that off and get the, the bonus chest. Right then, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and get out of here. I'll get the, the spirit orb and stuff, and then I'm going to head straight to the, the next shrine and to see if we can do uh, another shrine in this video. Right then, I should be just about to arrive at the, the shrine, assuming I marked the, the right place on my map. I think it's just around the, the other side of the shrine. Oh, there's guardians. There are guardians. Let's just get into the shrine and get into safety if we can. Oh, where is it? Where's it? I've just circled this whole rock. Right, let's just jump off this. And then let's just like... Oh, let's climb up here. I, have I gone to the wrong place? I think I'm just farther away than I thought I was. Let me check the map. Okay, yeah, I've just gone to just like the, the, the wrong place. So apparently, it should just be over there somewhere. Like the, my, my little blinkies blinking and uh, and having a go at me saying that I'm really, really close. It also became a thunderstorm, so I've had to like get rid of all of my good weapons as well. So I really don't want to get into a, a fight right now because I'm using like a bunch of wooden weapons, which um yeah, aren't the most effective in the, the world. Apparently I'm like right on it. Like the thing's blinking going like, it's right here. It's right here. Oh, is it around this way? Aha, uh -huh. I do remember this sentry was kind of just circling it the, the entire time. Let's try and, uh, and chill out here for a little bit, just let them pass. Luckily, they're like, got really, really narrow vision. They're like, literally stared just right ahead of them and like nowhere else. So they're, they're generally pretty easy to, to slip past, but I think it's just around here to the left. There we go. I just go with the shrine. I kind of understand why I, I took a little while to, to track this one down. It's pretty well hidden. And as I said, there's like a million guardians all over the, the place. So this wasn't the, the sort of area that I would be hanging out for my vacation. But yeah, the, the last shrine was really easy. That was probably like, one of the easiest tries. Like when I completed, I got to the top and I was like, oh, that's it. Okay. Thumbs up. We're done. Okay. I was just, I was just expecting it to be more. I don't know. You expect there to be like something else to it. So uh, fingers crossed this one's going to be uh, another pretty easy one as well. And I'm going to complete it. Please don't be a combat one. Please don't be a combat one. Please don't be a combat one. Oh, okay. Minor test of strength. This might be a little bit more manageable. All uh, right. Let's go and use some guardian weapons then, shall we? Just because um, let's use, let's use this. Let's use the, I think I should save that. Let's use, let's use this, uh, this ancient battle axe, shall we? Uh, it should be pretty good anyway. Uh, and then we don't need to use the guardian shield. I'm going to save that. And then let's save the guardian arrows. Let's just use some of uh, some normal arrows and then maybe use this because it's going to protect us from uh, guardian uh, attacks a little bit later. Uh, luckily with this, you always kind of, you have a pretty good idea what you're going to face. And oh, whenever there's a bunch of columns around, you know, it's going to be the ones that go crazy and just like charge at you and then smash into the, the walls. Let's see if I can prove how efficient I have got at combat on this guy. Let me just try and absolutely dominate him if I can. So uh, you've got to just get the, the dodge in and then get the, the florium. And that should give you a good chance. But to be fair, this guy's only using like a, a single spear. So it should be pretty easy to dodge most attacks. And if you look at like the damage I've done against him already, this one's going to be easy. I know I'm probably going to end up regretting saying that, but I think this is really, really going to be a minor test of strength. But oh, my battle axe is badly damaged. It might be worth throwing this battle axe at him because it does like a bunch of damage when you uh, when you do that. So, oh, oh, he's doing the, the spinny thing. Um, right, let's go. Let's go for like a, a, an aerial attack. So you can kind of use the, the air to get into position and then fly down like that. 
And then look, if I just chuck this axe at him, <laughs> absolutely destroyed it. This, this has just been an embarrassing day for the Guardian today. I have been absolutely dominating them. So let's go and grab the, the spear, uh, which will replace the, the axe that I just broke in this uh, this battle. Uh, let's just go and get my myself back to back to my normal things for my everyday journeying on the, the outside. Uh, hopefully I'm not going to be going straight back into the, the lightning storm. And let's see what, what my uh, reward for my efforts is going to be. I was able to get a... Ooh, a royal halberd, which I do not have room to, to hold right now. I got like a bunch of um of non-metal things just because it was a, a thunderstorm. So let's go and uh, maybe go and drop this down on the floor because that is pretty much rubbish in any situation other than when you can't use every other weapon you have. And yeah, let's go and grab this again. Apparently it's got a good long throw. I never really throw the, the spears too much. It's kind of like the, the last resort when they're the damage, but that's another spirit orb. And I now only need one more spirit orb in order to, to be able to, to get my next upgrade and as i said that would be i mean it doesn't matter but that would be my next full circle of stamina done and then i think that's it for stamina i then i'm going to be done like i could carry on upgrading it but i think then just focusing uh, focusing on the the heart containers uh, is going to be the the best way for for me to to stay alive going forward through the the rest of my journey so uh, yeah hopefully you uh, enjoyed this episode some pretty great uh, progress done overall uh, in the next episode i'm going to continue uh, my hunt to, to go for some more memories i think that one that looked like it was up Death Mountain somewhere. I think that might be a good one to, to go for. Because I kind of do the, the same thing that I did to today. And kind of keep just looking at where the... Um uh, like where the, the castle is in relation to it. So let's just go and have a look at it. Oh, we'll look at it in the next episode. Link in the description. It'll be online soon. You won't have long to wait, I promise. But for now, thanks for watching and I will see you all later. Bye!